Okay, I'm thinking we're live now, Allegra. So hi, everybody. My name is Liz Corcoran, and I am going live today to just give you a little bit of a sneak peek of the wonderful um, person, speaker that we've got joining us today. Um, just to sort of familiarize yourself, I'm from the Southwark Catholic Charismatic Renewal Team, and I'm here today because we are running an amazing event on the 4th of November this Saturday over at St. George's Cathedral in Southwark. So um, the theme of the day is come back to me with all your heart. And we're going to be talking just really briefly about um, that scripture and why does it matter that you should come along today? Why, why would it be important to join us on that day? So Allegra, it's wonderful to have you with me. Um, Allegra, um, now, I, I am so pleased that you agreed to do this because you've had such an amazing um, um, journey so far as a teacher. Um, tell us a little bit about um, why you um, are going to come along and speak to us about this important theme of come back to me. It's amazing because when I, I used to be a missionary and uh, mm -hmm. we'd go to, uh, to parishes and to share the good news. And my favorite night was always reconciliation night. You know, we had the night where we looked at God's love, at Jesus, our savior and friend, and the night on the Holy Spirit, the church. But the Wednesday evening, which was usually it was a Wednesday evening reconciliation night, was always my favorite because it's amazing to see actually to be reminded of reconciliation. It's it's the joy of coming back to the Lord over and over again. As sinners, we fall as sinners. We keep stumbling. But it's to have actually the Lord inviting us over and over again to come back to him, to be reconciled to him. So to me, Reconciliation Day is always a, a day of great celebration and a day of great joy. So I'm hoping to see many people there ready to celebrate um, this amazing time when we're looking at the Lord's mercy and compassion for us. Absolutely. and. Um... You know, I, I'll just quickly read out the scripture theme for the day, because I think it really, it helps us to really realize how important this is. So we're in Joel 2, 12. But now it is the Lord who speaks, come back to me with all your heart, fasting, weeping, mourning. Let your hearts be broken, not your garment, garments torn. Turn to the Lord your God again, for he is all tenderness and compassion, slow to anger, rich in graciousness and ready to relent. And I was just so struck um, when we received that scripture that, you know, God's not asking for us to come with our perfect offerings. The Old Testament, they had to have that perfect offering that um, to say sorry for their sins and that God is not um, asking for that. He's asking for us to just bring our hearts Mm -hmm. um, on a day like today. So what would you say to those people out there that have been looking at this event? Maybe they felt that tug in their heart, but they're thinking, well, this isn't for me. Maybe I'm not coming to mass every Sunday, or, um, maybe I'm not even like a Catholic. I'm just sort of drawn to these, these talks that I'm hearing online, um, around Catholic ideas or that the Lord's calling us, what would we say to those people maybe that are on the fence that maybe they don't think this is for them? I think this is for all of us. You know, it's not for, oh, I'm in the right season now or I'm too far removed. So whether we find ourselves at a time when we're very close to God or whether we find ourselves in the season where you're thinking, I'm too far removed from God's mercy and God's love, I think these kind of days remind us that this is all about the love of God. At the basis of all, it's about the love of God. And it's the Lord continually calling us back, calling us into relationship with him, wanting to, to bestow upon us, to heal us, to set us free, to transform us. So, yes, it is about bringing to him our hearts and letting him you know, speak to us and call us closer to him and remove any obstacles that might be in the way of that relationship with him. Yeah. And, you know, the thing is that always strikes me is 
we are trying to understand God with our little tiny human brains. We try to understand, well, that I wouldn't forgive someone who did this or I wouldn't. So therefore God can't, but God is not us. Yeah. And the only way you're going to understand that is to let yourself come to that well and receive and um, just encourage you that if you doubt that God could forgive you or to love you or that he has a place for you in his heart, in his church, just come and see, come and see and experience that. Um, And, you know, you are very welcome just to sit on the sidelines um, and just to take in um, the day. Um, we're so pleased that you said yes to join us. I'm not going to spoil the surprise of telling them all about who you are. I want you to do that when you come. But just know, everybody, we're very blessed to have Allegra with us and um, sharing her experience. So I'm going to include in this post details of how to register on the short link. So if you can register on Eventbrite, then please do. But if you're one of those people that don't want to uh, just come along. You are very welcome. And those doors will be open from 10 o'clock St. George's Cathedral on Saturday the 4th. So Allegra, I can't wait to see you. Give you a big hug and welcome you up um, to share your talk. And uh, thank you everybody for listening. God bless. God bless. Bye. See you soon.